This is the Dan Levatar Show with the Stugatz Podcast. Guillermo is furious at Crayola. Crayola announced Thursday that the color that is going to be taken out of circulation is dandelion. For some reason, this infuriates Guillermo. Do you guys even know what dandelion is if I don't tell you what the color of dandelion is? Put that on the poll, Guillermo, at Levitard Show. Do you know what color dandelion is? What a stupid question by you. <laughs> really Do you is. know what color dandelion is? Yeah, weird. A pink? What the hell's wrong with you? And furious isn't the word, Dan. Mm-hmm. This is devastating. Today's supposed to be National Crayon Day. How about National Crayon Massacre Day by Crayola? They're trying to pass this off as, oh, Dandelion is walking away, retiring. This is a forced retirement. (laughs) I don't believe for a moment that Dandelion wants to walk away. Right. Bunch of bunch of crap, if you ask me. They're throwing Dandelion out of the box. You're right. I mean, Billy, I'm looking at the color. What? It's yellow. What? Yellow. (laughs) Mike. Mike. You don't believe that that's yellow. It looks just like yellow. Mike, there are shades of yellow. How do you color Big Bird? Just yellow? You need to give it shades. The sun, when you paint a mermaid's hair, yellow? No, you need to shade individual strands of hair. Mike, you're telling me yellow, yellow. I can't tell the difference between that and yellow. I could see if you said maybe it looks like goldenrod. It's similar. Not the same as goldenrod. (laughs) Not the same as maximum yellow. Not the same as as middle yellow. Maze, totally different color. Orange, this is, Mike. Well, yeah, I mean, no one can confuse dandelion with maize. Uh, I'm, I'm with you there. <laughs> Mike, <laughs> are you, you guys are not outraged by this? No, no, no. Why not? I do like the idea of this as a sports conversation, though. Was dandelion <laughs> forced out? Um, is management lying to us? It's not even a debate, Dan. Today, my soul is cerulean okay. at the loss of dandelion. <laughs> okay, very good. All right, moving on. There was an alert yesterday sent out by ESPN. I felt like we got stuck there for too long. An alert sent out by ESPN. Are you ready for this, Stugat? Yep. This is great. All right. First take video, colon. Max Kellerman says Steph Curry is, quote, a little bit underrated. Stephen A. Smith calls statement, quote, Utterly ridiculous. <laughs> there it is, right there. Thank you, First Take, for being what you are. Is the curry might be a little underrated. That is utterly ridiculous. <laughs> I love that show. Man. <laughs> so beautiful. I love conviction. Yeah, so do I. Yes. Yep. About anything. On either side, yeah. Yeah, just, yep, yep, yep. just believe it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Or yes. don't, but just sound like you do. I mean, yes. Max believes it a little bit. But Stephen A. really believes that what Max believes he shouldn't believe even a little bit. <laughs> I love that, though. So many sports arguments are that. Let's argue argue with rage in the small area. Like, we can't fight along a vast and roaming path or wilderness. Just in the small area where there might be some disagreement. And let's bloody each other with hatchets. And what is that uh, What is that ball with spikes on the end of it? Oh, what? yeah. What is it? Is that a mace? A mace? I think I it know, is a we've mace. already had this conversation. Yeah. No, it's that was a, a good show that we did that it's day. It's not a mace. It's something else. A lot, people, it's now, a lot of people were chain. arguing it's a mace. No, is it the ball and chain? chain? No, 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 no. That's your wife. No, no. No. That's Abby. <laughs> oh, no. <sighs> what were we doing with the ball and chain? What was happening with the ball and chain? We were were attaching it to prisoners prisoners. to weigh them down because we wanted them to be tired. We wanted them to not be able to get away. Yeah, they can't get away with a ball and chain. You can't get away with a ball because the ball's so heavy? Well, you can get like a really strong guy. I've seen it in movies where they they get like the super strong guy and he lifts up the the ball and chain. But what did the ball typically weigh in the ball and chain scenario? And how long ago? When did we stop using that? When did the ball and chain industry go under? Because I think it's still flourishing. No, it can't be still flourishing. 
I'm going to check it out. The ball and chain. Well, it seems like every time I ask this question around here, like the clapper, the clapper can't still be flourishing. You guys come on and tell me, yeah, sold a hundred, you know, three hundred uh, clappers uh, last month on Amazon. Just on Amazon, like whatever it is. Whenever I say that, what what's the latest thing? Oh, the maps. Maps on paper. We said that that can't be flourishing. That industry cannot be flourishing now that you know every every phone has the ability to give you GPS. I'm on the uh, Wikipedia for ball and chain, and you're not going to believe this, but it only weighed 18 pounds. What? Wow. 18 pounds. Well, I mean, you can't. You can't. Your prison system is going to go under in bankruptcy if you make those things too heavy. You're gonna, you're gonna, you gotta save costs somewhere. But it was a sphere, so once you got some momentum, the inertia would just sort of carry it, right? So, like, it wouldn't be that difficult once you got it going. Well, this might all be difficult because of what we were talking about yesterday. Maybe 18 pounds was more in a previous time. We talked yesterday, 1961. Bill Russell, hold on, let me hold on. Hear me out. No, hear me out on this. Please, please hear me out on this. Hear Hear me out on this. I know that on its face, what I'm saying sounds ridiculous. But yesterday we found out that the 1961 MVP was Bill Russell. He was 6'10", 215 pounds. He was the size of Harrison Barnes. It would be more difficult for Bill Russell in 1961 to carry around 18 pounds than it would be for the modern Bill Russell, not in size and weight, but in dominance, to carry around 18 pounds. That's what I meant. And that makes perfect sense. It really does. It like, does. You're I, saying, I the, average, you're you're saying yes, the average yes. man was smaller around the time. I'm of the saying ball and chain. that man today is stronger than he was in the day of the ball and chain. Right. Put that up, uh, Guillermo. Put that on the poll. Yes or no? Is man today? Is the average man today stronger than he was in the day of the ball and chain when 18 pounds could conquer the average criminal? Or I should say, is the average male criminal stronger? I think everyone's stronger. How about that, though, Mike? How shocking a sentence is that? Bill Russell was the size of Harrison Barnes. <laughs> so Harrison Barnes would have dominated the NBA. Yes, 25 I mean, rebounds yeah, per game. Yeah, that's yep. exactly right. Yep. He would have won 1961 MVP, Harrison Barnes, and not as a three-point shooter. Like as a monster in the paint, he, as Shaq, yeah, yes, an no, inside no, force, right? Yes. He would no, he would have been playing against Shaq, and everybody would have been saying Harrison Barnes is better than Shaq because he knows how to win. Yeah, he knows how to win. He knows how to do the little things. Bob Ryan would be telling us how Harrison Barnes was the greatest player of all time. That's right. Go look. Give me, give me. I I'm doing this based. Somebody just sent me on Twitter. I haven't even checked it. What are Harrison Barnes' actual? Listed dimensions because it said that Bill Russell wasn't actually six ten, that he was closer to six nine. I mean, he's got to be uh, like Harrison Barnes is one of the strongest players in the NBA. Just like the playing style, like it, it blows you away. You see the strength jump off the screen. Let's see his dimensions here. He's uh, they have him listed as six eight two twenty five. <laughs> he would have backed down Bill Russell. Would have backed him down in the paint. <laughs> The 1961 defensive MVP, Harrison Barnes would have used him as a Q-tip to clean out his ear. Maybe a toothpick to get something out of his teeth with. Harrison Barnes has 10 pounds. You you understand what I'm saying, though, about like in that league, it becomes something that over time becomes imperceptible to the eye. Do you realize what would they have done in 1961? With, can you, God, I wish, the amount of money I would pay for this, Stugat, to just drop Kevin Durant in a game in 1961. Can we get an app for that? Oh, my God. To take Kevin Durant and just throw him in a game. Not so I could watch what it looks like when he's playing, just so that I could look at the faces of the people playing against him. Where, wait a minute, this, this, this guy that is bigger and, and... <laughs> He shoots three. Yes, he's been. What is Bill Russell doing? Shooting from out there. A texter writes in, and he is not alone in making this point, or in making it this way. There wasn't a three-point line back in Bill Russell's day. No need to have range, morons. Is that 
<laughs> okay, and that totally kills my point of wanting an app that could send Kevin Durant back in time to play in 1961 just so I could see the faces of the guys as he shoots from 30 feet. <laughs> you totally killed my point. I was so confident about that being an interesting thing right up until you called me a moron. <laughs> now I got to retreat. That's not something I would want, and it's not something any of us should want. You should not want an app that allows Kevin Durant to time travel in a way that allows us to see what he would look like against 6'9", 215, weighs less than Harrison Barnes, Bill Russell. <laughs> a texter writes in, Ball and Chain's purpose, you moron, was to slow a runaway prisoner, not to make them immovable. I'm 5'7", 210 pounds. And I can outrun an NFL player tied to a ball and chain. No, you can't. No, you can't. Put it on the pole, Guillermo. Can this fat 5'7", 210-pound moron texter outrun Indomitian and Sue tied to a ball and chain? Yes or no? I actually agree with the moron. I do. I think if I was racing a guy, like a current athlete, and they had a ball and chain, I think I'd beat them in a race. I do. It, it needs to be the perfect NFL player. Speed and power. Ken, wait a minute. Adrian Peterson? You think you could beat Adrian Peterson in a race if he's holding a ball and chain? I don't think you could beat Indomitian Sue in a race if he's holding. Now, is he dragging the ball and chain or Can holding he, well, the ball that, and that, chain? That's an important distinction yeah. right there, which... Well, no. I Texas was allowing back. him to pick it up. Texas back, moron Texas. What are the rules here? Wait a right. minute. What do you mean you can't What do you mean you mean can't pick up the ball and chain? It's 18 pounds, and you can move no, with that 18 no, pounds no, however you no. like. The ball and chain was made to go around your ankle, right? That's, wait, that's but, where it's supposed yes, to go. Yes, the ball and chain was made to go around your ankle, but you can run with a ball and chain in our scenario where you're trying to escape a prison or you're racing a 5, 7, 210 pound texter. Yeah, that's how a runaway prisoner would do it. They wouldn't just run Although, with it. The, well, the chain ankle. might not be long enough to yeah. carry it. Oh, yeah, yeah. That might be the... That ah, might be the... Right. Oh. See, because I think you're not beating an NFL player in a race if he can carry the ball and chain. If if I could just give him 18 pounds of extra weight, right. I don't think you're beating an NFL player in a race. I don't either, but if you put it around his ankle, I think I'm, I'm beating the NFL So player. what do you think? You think he's going to get tied, uh, you know, slowed down? Oh, very important scientific data. This is what we get from Fats and Info. The standard chain is 35 inches. So the standard chain is three feet. Just under. Thank you, Stugatz, for that. So I wish. I mean, if you're well, gonna to offer that, no. But if you're gonna offer that, why don't you say just over?